what's up everyone long time no see it's been forever since i've been in front of the camera but today i am doing a quick little daily vlog for you all i wanted to do some shopping in the city and so i decided to bring you all along with me we just got off the bus that was a story in itself literally took an hour and a half and we got in an accident my bus literally rear-ended a tesla hot mess but we made it and yeah we're gonna get our day started surprisingly empty nobody's in here on a saturday let's make our way down though all right i am attempting to make my way to the subway i have no idea why it is cold it's chilly in june i'm literally shivering and i have on a long sleeve but yeah we're making our way to bergdorf goodman's but I'm debating if I should eat first too, so I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I made it off the subway. Now I just gotta remember exactly where the store is. I know where I am, I just gotta figure out which direction I'm going. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on Fifth Avenue. We're gonna do a little bit of shopping today. Well, we're really just going to Bergdorf Goodman, but if you don't know what Fifth Avenue is, it has all the luxury designer boutiques and stores. And I need to be headed this way. Okay, so we made it to Bergdorf. One side of the street is for men, the other side is for women. We are, of course, are going to the women's side so they're literally two separate stores. One's on each side of the street. We have Louis Vuitton right across from Bergdorf. That is the men's side of Bergdorf. So we're not gonna make it over there today. Um, maybe if my husband was with me, we would have, but I'm just gonna stay where the women uh, department is. But we have Tiffany and Co down here. Okay, here's the entrance to the women's side of the store. Okay, so quick correction, there is more than one entrance to get into the women's side. I'm not sure what side of the street I entered on, but today is just a really impromptu video. It really is just me walking through the store and window shopping. I had no intentions of buying anything. I wasn't looking for anything specifically. I was just exploring. I enjoy Bergdorf's. It is huge. There's nine floors on the women's department alone. So literally any and everything you can think of and then some are probably in this store. The first floor, which is where I'm at currently, is all handbags. There's jewelry as well as a Chanel boutique. And yeah, there's the latest collections in here. Some of the things you'll see in here aren't available in a lot of other places. I'd also like to quickly note, I am by no means an expert when it comes to fashion, luxury designers, or anything of that nature. So if I misspeak, please do not come for me. This is a learning experience for me as well. Most of what I know is actually pretty recent. I've had the opportunity to shop and purchase for clients as a personal shopper, but for myself, I don't own a ton of luxury. In the past, I've actually found the process a little intimidating. The prices themselves can be high depending on your personal income, but also in the stores and boutiques, they're smaller, they're quieter, and the client advisors are trained to give you a personalized experience. So when you want to come in and just browse, you can kind of feel pressure if you don't have a lot of knowledge about the designer or the products. Or, you know sometimes you're just not ready to buy something so if you are a beginner I would definitely recommend getting started in a department store like this they're a lot bigger and the client advisors have a lot more customers to choose from so you really get the opportunity to just explore on your own get up close with the products see what you like see the prices and then if you have questions you can ask the client advisor at that point but I find them a lot less bothersome in department stores versus in the actual retail and boutiques. There's the entrance to the Chanel I mentioned. I was headed that way until I saw the escalator. I was so excited to get to the next level. Believe it or not, I had already been down here for almost two hours. So we are headed up. Can you 
guest what's on the second floor we are now in the shoe department again another huge floor this here is the sale section with all those racks everywhere else it's just multiple designers when i tell you guys like not only is this store nine floors but the floors themselves are huge there's like stores within stores on one floor i've finally been released from the shackles of this minimal aesthetic that has had me in a chokehold for the last few years of like just wearing black white and beige so i've been loving the bright colorways the pinks orange greens i'm here for it versace is having their platform moment roger vivier is the moment if you did not know you heard it here i feel like i'll always be here for a little mule as well i know some people don't care for like the kittens but i love them they're comfortable they're cute you have a nice little square off toe these chunky gucci platforms have you guys in a show cold i'm not sure how i feel about them but they're there that's for y'all i do love this sling back though y'all this sale section was giving very much a mess i almost didn't bother at all but we did have to see what these sales were giving. So I picked up a pair of Manolo Blahniks. They are $7.05 from $11.75. So you're getting a nice little 30% off, I think that is. Same pair in white, which I thought were amazing. Since I wasn't shopping for anything specifically, I just picked up random pieces. This was a pair by Valentino. They are $5.34 from $8.90. So everything looks to be about 30% off right now. This selection will just gradually get smaller as the months progress and the discounts will get deeper. Another pair, this is by Alexander McQueen. These are a really good deal. They're $3.80 from $9.50. So those are marked down more than 50%. And it only took about three hours, but we did make it to the third level. I was a bit tired at this point, so we're just breezing through the end of the video. But honestly, the remaining floors deserve their own video. They're dedicated to ready-to-wear, formal wear, bridal gowns, home decor. So I couldn't rush this because it's honestly my favorite part about visiting Bergdorf's I feel like you can shop designer bags and shoes a lot of places regardless of what city and state you're in but getting up close and personal to the collections is truly an experience for me I love how each designer curates their own section and I just get so excited I get all of the feels I feel like a little girl so I cannot rush this but I did jump on over to the fourth floor to visit Linda's Corner. She is the fashion director for Bergdorf's and she has her own curated section of her top picks. So they have different themes throughout here and the products will switch throughout the year, I believe. But this is what it's looking like currently. So I did have a little touristy moment. I wanted to visit this before I headed out for the evening. All of these pieces are shoppable throughout the store if you want them for yourself and I thought she had an amazing little collection. going to get something to eat it was like 5 or 5 30 at this point so that's terrible but whatever we made it through I almost called the police though because this burger and french fries were literally a million dollars and for what for what okay so that wraps up shopping today it's hard to talk in any of my videos because there's always music playing in the background so I'm gonna do a voiceover for Bergdorf it was so much stuff there's literally nine floors on the women's department side alone so I didn't even touch half of the store um, I just got some food and I'm debating if I want to go home now or if I want to stop into Zara I'm not sure I did walk into Zara but I immediately walked out when I saw that there was an escalator in multiple levels at that point I was just doing entirely too much and I was ready to go home so that is it 
for you today, guys. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next time.